morning students happy to see you back very soon and as we have already completed the poem how to tell wild animals there we have seen okay carolyn wells okay she has said about uh, how we need to there are certain risky ways of okay finding out or tell in the sense here identifying or noticing or recognizing there are certain risky ways of identifying certain wild animals there we have seen some seven different kinds of animals okay now let's come to a new poem that is the ball poem it's a ball poem do you know what are the different meanings of ball b a l l the ball means with which we play cricket and football there are different balls like rugby ball tennis ball etc etc that's the ball you can see in my hand there's a green ball it's a ball okay and there is one more meaning of ball i think so you know it what is it ball in the sense uh, a close association of uh, uh, it's a social gathering or a social assembly for the purpose of dancing okay social assembly of people okay the, when they gather together in order to dance that's also ball but here in this poem we learn about the ball poem this is this ball only not that ball okay there are two different it's a noun ball is a noun it's also a noun a social gathering of dancers when they try to or the purpose of dancing they gather together for the purpose of dancing but here it's a ball the point of this uh, poem is john bedeman john bedeman and he feels a sorry for a boy who lost his ball okay we happen to see how the kids play at home and for simple and silly reasons sometimes they cry out like anything and sometimes they give a great trouble of okay buying the things for them okay until then they never keep quiet but this is the scenario that we have seen it and he also john very man is narrating something regarding a boy who lost his ball actually ball is means a lot for this boy since he is a small little child okay if anything which is very important for him to play is missing he feels uh, very sad how to put off his grief he was in such a miserable condition that he lost something that's a ball okay we have to put his uh, grief to some extent to low okay here what this man john bellman had seen out of his own experience before going to okay get into this poem we just learn uh, what is very important thing in our life okay we buy and lose many things in our life but certain things have a kind of bond with us okay even the thing is not that very expensive but we bother much about it and we don't want to share with somebody even because it is our treasure out of our treasure we don't want to partake anything with others isn't it here you can see one nice quote i just gathered from this uh, ball poem that is you learn more from losing than winning we all will learn more from losing than winning you learn how to keep going you learn more from losing than winning sometimes losing is good when you lost something then you can realize the value of it until then you cannot even estimate the value of it okay losing is also sometimes teaches some good lessons of life and you learn how to keep going when you are losing something important something valuable in your life you will be learning something good to keep going in your life how to take the next step in your life you will learn better when you lose something something valuable or something essential very important and very precious thing if you lost you will know the value of it so sometimes losing also will teach us good lessons of life and a boy loses a ball he is very upset he loses a ball and he gets very upset a ball does not 
cost much actually. The ball is not very expensive to bother much about it, but here this boy bothers. Nor, nor uh, it difficult to buy another ball. Why then is the boy so upset? So why then the boy is very upset? Actually, this is not an expensive thing. It's not an expensive ball. Okay, it's such a ball that he could replace by taking or by buying something else. Okay, some other ball. But he wants to have the ball which he lost. Now, read the poem to see what the poet thinks has been lost and what the boy has to learn from the experience of losing something. Please underline the word experience of losing something. We all need to experience Okay, of losing something. According to Morgan uh, Wollen, Morgan Wollen had said like this, when you lose something, okay, you learn more from losing than winning. You learn how to keep going. It's really a very good task. And even John Berryman is also trying to teach us what is depicting here, you know. There is a scenario there is a poet, John Berryman, and a small little boy. He was keep on observing that boy, okay, who was looking so upset because he went and found out. So what's wrong with him? Then the boy said, I lost my ball. And here the poet John Berryman, what did he do with this boy? We will see. Let's go. What is the boy now who has lost his ball? What is the boy now? Actually, how is the boy now? Or where is the boy now? Instead of that, what is the boy now? It means, so what happened with him? Who has lost his ball? Actually, this boy has lost his ball. How is he? What is he doing now? Okay, what what he to do? What what is he? to do. So what is his next step? Okay, he has lost his ball. What is the next step of this boy to do? And I saw it go merrily bouncing down the street. Where did the boy, uh, where did the ball go? It was bouncing down the street, merrily. So what, once the ball is hit so hardly, suppose if you hit the ball so hard, it bouncing, it is keep on rolling and bouncing and going down the street till the end of the street it had gone and then merrily over there it is in the water actually it went and fell in the water maybe into the gutter wherever the drainage is there usually small little fellows they don't want it to pick the ball from the drainage if the ball has gone into the drainage if it is uh, by mistake if it fell into the drainage no boy like to pick the ball out from that gutter isn't it from the dam uh, i mean drainage okay no use to say oh there are other balls okay it's gone he doesn't like to pick the ball from some nasty place okay so there are other balls it means oh there are other balls means not only this ball in the world you know there are many balls out there means in the shops he could go there and buy another ball okay instead of buying another ball he was just crying out for that ball which he had hit it so hard and that fell into a ditch maybe it fell into a ditch of drainage or a gutter he doesn't like to pick it up because he doesn't like it because it is a nasty pond maybe it's a nasty gutter drainage the ball went into the drainage he doesn't like to pick it up he doesn't like to pick it back okay he was just crying out because since the child was very very small he was such a young boy at that moment at any cost he has to play with the ball okay now it's not the time for running to a shop and take another ball and play with it. Now his need and his uh, okay zeal of playing should be accomplished. 
that was the one and only goal of this small little fellow.